I'm letting you guys know that I'm pleading guilty. Um, long talks with my attorney, and um, it's the best option, you know. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Orlando and we are reacting to a video from Omi in a Hellcat. He released a video and from what you saw earlier, he is pleading guilty. If you do not know the story of Omi in a Hellcat, let me just give you a brief summary. Omi and the Hellcat basically uh, ran a service or an app that allowed you to stream service cable, all types of things, movies, stuff like that. It allowed you to stream stuff onto your TV. He ended up getting copyright infringement and he was charged with some type of copyright infringement. Um, and then on top of that too, he didn't file his taxes and, and he was looking down a 500 year sentence. Well, he is pleading guilty and he released a video. Let's jump into it. This has been such a long journey for me. You know, I'm sorry for all the times I take off of YouTube, it's just, you know, depression, agony. Like, um, sometimes I'm in disbelief that, you know, I, I ended up in the same position as my father. And, you know, I feel like every year that I'm maturing and maturing and becoming a better person and a better person, you know, it, it's a super unfortunate situation. You know, I'm not a threat to society by any means, but, you know, what I did was kind of fucked up. Wow, okay, okay. So this is probably one of the first times that I really have seen him actually come out and say, what I did was wrong. And it seems like he's at that place right now. If you watch any of his previous videos, you would see he was fighting it tooth and nail, which I understand, <laughs> uh, but he was fighting it tooth and nail. And now he is at the point where he understands and he is admitting that he's wrong. Now, why this is so important, guys, and the reason why I'm even covering this is I believe this is a teachable moment for everyone, right? For people seeing this, for younger people seeing this, that doing things like what he was doing, things that are illegal, especially in this day and age, me and JT cover this all the time. Everyone wants to make fast money and the fast money will get you put in jail, right? Especially if you're doing the scammer type of work, credit card scam, fraud, all this other stuff that we see running rampant on the internet and that I try to say, hey guys, look, that you need to do this to get into real estate. You need to do this to get your financial uh, quote unquote freedom where you need to be, right? And people get onto me all the time because I say it's going to take some time. It's not going to be easy. People prefer to listen to the scammers and try to do things the fast way. You know, created an app that basically had live TV and, you know, and basically you know, recorded shows in the DVR catch up type of thing. So um, I'm letting you guys know that I'm pleading guilty. Um, long talks with my attorney and um, it's the best option, you know. So I wonder, you know, as I'm watching this, just being objective is, is he, first of all, did he get uh, approval? Because I know, I know he likes to share a lot, which can be detrimental, um, especially to his freedom. But, you know, I don't know if he's doing this because of just, you know, he just had to want to get something off his chest. If it's just the best thing for, he has no choice. His backup is against the wall. I do not know. Let's go ahead and continue watching the video to see if he explains this a little bit more. Everyone already pleaded out, already pleading guilty on my case. Um, makes no sense. Plus, you know, it, it's an acceptance, it's an acceptance of, of responsibility for me. Um, it just sucks, it sucks, it sucks. It sucks to, to lose my house, to lose properties, money, all my cars, you know, my jewelry. It's an embarrassment. Um, and you know what, this is to kind of let you know, man, that you don't want to take easy routes in life. I've always been good at hustling, you know, and in, in, in a good sense. I'm not talking about selling drugs. I'm talking about hustling, you know, grabbing an item, selling it for more. I did this through Craigslist. I did this through Facebook Marketplace, you know. So as I was talking about earlier, we see this all the time, guys. I go over things and I say, look, real estate, stocks, whatever you're trying to get into, right? It just doesn't have to be what my forte is, which is, which is real estate. It can be other things. 
It's going to take time and it's going to take hard work. There is nothing, nothing guys, that is going to be easy in life. I'm telling you, anything that is worth anything is going to take time. And with everyone, the way the internet is, with crypto and, and all these ridiculous returns, everyone thinks that they can become rich at the snap of a finger. And people are trying to always find shortcuts to get to that financial freedom. And we can use this as a teachable moment that just because you can think of something to sell, you can think of something that you know you can make money off of, if it's illegal to do, don't do it. Unfortunately, I didn't pay my taxes. Um, ignorance is no excuse, like I've always said. And it's it, to me, it's about you know accepting responsibility. And, um, and just stop feeding myself some bullshit. Like, you know, it's, it's to me, it's narcissistic behavior, the shit that I do. You know, I'm always the victim. Always the, everything, everything in America, America's against me. No, like, I wouldn't have had this issue if, if I wouldn't have created the service. That's a fact. You know what I mean? That is a fact. I wouldn't have had this issue if I would have paid my taxes. Well, I would have had less of an issue. He is so right about that. He is accepting accountability now, saying, look, I messed up, right? And understanding that he's gonna have to pay the consequence for that. He's talking about paying his taxes and doing things like that, not doing things underneath the table, all these things that a lot of people try to get away with that I try to tell people, no, 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 don't do it that way. Do it the right way in the beginning so you don't have to deal with these headaches. Of course, you can make super fast money right now. Everyone can do that. You can make ridiculous amounts of money the legal way. You can make ridiculous amounts of money the fast way. But is that really what you want, right? Maybe when you're young, you may feel that way, but I can always promise you as you grow, and most people do grow, things become more important to you in life, like your family, your kids. You want to be there for them, and you are putting yourself at jeopardy if you don't want to do things the right way. Valuable lesson to everyone. Shit catches up to you regardless, you know? And the fact that I, in my mind that I thought that I was correct about the shit that I was doing, it's kind of fucked up. Now, I never scammed anyone. Like, let me, let me make that loud and clear. I never scammed anyone, never stole credit card information. Everyone who paid for the service got exactly what they were paying for. Now, the fucked up part about it is, you know, is the end. And, and, and let me tell you when I started to feel guilty. Um, I was watching Disney Plus and I was watching uh, Pixar. It's like Meet the Creators, right? And I saw this massive fucking building. And it's crazy. I'm going to tell you why it's crazy. I saw this massive building. And if you watch Meet the Creators, you get to watch the animators and, you know, some of the people that work on some of these movies. Now, we're talking about Pixar has thousands of employees, maybe hundreds, of, if not thousands of employees. And you see them all walking into the building at the same time. Oh, everybody's just moving. You know, the kitchen is rolling. You know, the auditorium in that place is humongous. And then you look and it takes them five years, five years to make one movie. So think about all the money that they're investing and investing, all the people that are running back and forth. At the end of the day, do they still get paid? Yes. Wow. So this is the point where he realized that he was in the wrong for the service that he was pro providing by taking copyrighted material and then redistributing or reselling it basically and not having the permission of the copyright holder. So this is where he thought to himself like, what, what am I doing? I'm taking all of this money off of people's plate. Yeah, they got paid, but I did, I, what I did was wrong. So this is the point. And a lot of times guys, that's that type of moment doesn't come until you have more maturity, right? Or you're, you're more, you have more wisdom and you think back and you think, wow, what, what, what was I doing? I mean, I know tons of you guys have looked at when you were younger and said, why would I do, why would I do that dumb thing that I did back in the day? It's because at that time you thought it was right. And at this time he knows he was wrong. And this is the reason why education guys, education is so important. What's right, what's wrong when it comes to financial stuff, paying your taxes, getting legal advice for this type of stuff and not just doing things willy-nilly. Make sure you do everything above board. 
But when I found out that someone was selling reloaded merchandise t-shirts, that shit bothered me. So imagine what a copyright holder has to go through. Like they're you're skimming off money off the top, and yeah, people may say, "Oh man, you selling now?" It's, it's the truth. Is the truth, man. I, and I told you guys, bro, from the from the gate, man. Like I'm always gonna be be as real as possible with you guys. I ain't never gonna tell you guys something that it is and, and it ain't and it ain't what it is. Towards the beginning, I felt like what I did wasn't illegal. And the more I started to sit back and dwell on it, I'm like, what the, like, you know, I was feeding myself bullshit. Feeding myself bullshit. And yeah, when, you, when you're redistributing copyrighted material, it's illegal. Good, good on him for actually coming to that point and realizing, look, I messed up. And man, I tell you what, a lot of times accountability we talk when I, when I'm on JT's channel and we're doing talking to callers. I see tons of times where there's just not accountability. But then I see sometimes where people say, "Look, I messed up. I didn't know what I was doing financially. I messed up, and this is what happened when I messed up." And this is what I I, I try to preach to everyone on my channel is accountability. Why invest in real estate if you don't have your budget together? Why invest in real estate if you have a ton of credit card bills? Why invest in anything and try to make money if your financial situation is, isn't correct? Now, a lot of people would say, Orlando, you're just trying to keep people back from not investing and not getting into, you know, this passive income. And I would say to them, no, I'm trying to get you to start out on a good foot. If you don't, if you can't take care of your own personal finances, then why would you be able to invest and keep track of that? Now, do I deserve all the time in prison? Like, no, I don't, man, that's, that's, that shit's ludicrous. But um, I do have to make some wrongs into rights, you know? And I'm doing this just off my own free will. This ain't nothing no one coerced me to do or say. This is just how I truly, shit, Mimi will probably get mad that I'm even gonna post this part. You know, this is something how I truly felt. And I and I tell you guys time and time again, I'm gonna post how I truly feel. So, um, talk, talked it over with my lawyer. I'm like, man, plead guilty, I'm gonna plead guilty on it. And gave up everything, all the monetary value, all the monetary gains that I had from this situation. And it's fine. Wow. Yeah, he's going to, uh, you know, that's just unfortunately what happens, guys. He's going to have to give up everything, house, everything. It's just going to be gone. Um, who knows if he's going to continue to do YouTube or anything else, you know, but that's to be honest, is the least of his worries. His worries is his family, taking care of his wife, all that other stuff, like, uh, you know, all that material stuff that has made him who he is as far as YouTube wise and YouTube channel wise. That stuff is all going to be gone. And now he's just going to have to, you know, take care and deal with what he, what's really important, which is his family and his kids and stuff like that. Now, as far as him talking about it on, on, on YouTube like this, I don't know. I mean, he's a really big share. I, I, you know, I, me personally, I just probably wouldn't have shared all of that. I probably would have talked to my lawyer, waited till everything was completed with that first and, and then pled and all that other stuff before I uh, released a video on it. But you know, that's his prerogative. It's his situation. And he even said his, his, his wife probably is probably saying, don't wouldn't tell him to do this or advise him to do that. So let's see what else he has to say. Life, and my quote was in front of me the entire time. Life is a marathon. It isn't a sprint. And that, and I've always said that quote, and I didn't follow through with the same shit that I was preaching. You know what I'm saying? Don't ever do things for the quick money or, 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 or the quick monetary gain. Do things for the long haul. Take, take your time on things. Life is a marathon. It isn't a sprint. I wish there were signs like that all over the place. Driving down the highway, pay your taxes or you could end up in prison and, you know, instill it more in our brain. But that's not an excuse. I'm just saying I wish things like that happened more because I'm telling you, man, uh, crime will be a lot less if we had those kind of signs. Hey, before you rob the store, just know that you can end up in prison. You know, there's so many people that... that react off situations that they're going through and they don't get the results than they thought they were going to get, you know?
like he said, you know, life is a marathon. It's, it's not a sprint. And a lot of times everybody wants to run to the money, run to the quickest way to run to, the, to get to the money. Everyone understands it. But a lot of times those ways that people are running to the money, damn, you know, taking shortcuts, taking advantage of others, um, not getting your own financial situation together, looking at yourself and saying, wow, maybe the reason why I, I, I can't move forward, maybe the reason why I can't move forward is because I'm not taking care of, of what I need to take care of myself. Maybe I'm not budgeting. Maybe I maybe that that my low credit score is because of me. It's not because of someone else or someone else put me in this situation, right? You have to take accountability and you have to look at things in the long term instead of right now. Has to happen this moment. You know, if you tell someone that their credit is going to take them a year and a half or two years to fix, it's too long. Forget about fixing my credit. No, no. You need to fix your credit. You know, you need to jump on that now. This is a teachable moment that don't take the easy and don't take the fast money. I hope you got value out of this content. I mean, as you watch this next video here, it will help you get into your first rental property and learn all things financial. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.